Well, thank you very much. Uh, we heard about the Girl Scouts. We have a very active Boy Scout community in town. We have six Cub Scout packs and four Boy Scout troops. And I recognize people from almost all those groups here tonight. Or this afternoon, it's a beautiful day. It's not night yet. But, uh, but I wanted to go back and talk about uh, the history of scouting and the history of Libertyville. Kind of put them together for you. Because how many of you folks in the audience, if you could have one wish, if anything in the whole wide world universe would wish for a time machine? Okay. Well, that's cool, because that's what I would wish for, because I'm a history buff, of a, a bit of a history buff, and I love to go back and think about how these wild events in history, separated by thousands of miles and hundreds of years, suddenly intersect and create unexpected outcomes. That's why we're here today. So if we go back in history to the start of Libertyville in 1882, that was 125 years ago, Libertyville was about 17 years old when a strange battle started in the south of Africa, the Boer War. Who's seen the movie Breaker Morant? Anybody seen the movie Breaker Morant? It's a great movie. I got one, one taker. So Libertyville is 17. Eric, where are you? Come on for a second. Kind of like this guy, just finishing those teen years. Libertyville is a 17-year-old new town. You know, looking pretty good. Maybe needs a haircut, otherwise, you know, doing well. <laughs> In the south of Africa, thanks sir. In the south of Africa, the British decide they're going to expand their empire by attacking the Dutch Boer colonies. So the Boer War begins. And one of the commanders of the British forces was Colonel Robert Baden Powell, which is a familiar name to a lot of the Boy Scouts in the group and should be to all the, the Boys Cub Scouts as well. But during this battle in 1899, Baden Powell commanded the forces at the town of Mafeking. And what he did was to take his 1,500 British soldiers and, and basically keep at bay 7,000 Boer soldiers from the, from the other army. And he did that by doing a couple of things. He had his armies go out and make little, little tiny attacks around the, the edges of the Boer army to keep them at bay so they weren't quite sure what was going on. But the other thing he did was to take the youth in the town, the British youth, so these guys, you guys come on up for a second. He took the young guys in town, he didn't make them soldiers, but he made them part of a youth corps. And what they would do is go around the town of Mapeking and create distractions. So they would dress up like soldiers.